Hey guys, how many of you can relate to not wanting to exercise, not wanting to swim, not wanting to go for that morning run, not wanting to get on that bike, not wanting to do those jumping jacks, whatever it is because of your hair. Hey guys, I wanted to jump on here for just a quick second because my hair is a total wreck, but this morning I had a decision to make if I was going to do my morning run or I was going to preserve my hair and honestly guys I chose my run and I'm just remember remembering um, back in the day that I would have never made this decision right because my hair was everything and so I wouldn't exercise or I wouldn't do this or I wouldn't do that but when your health becomes your um, number one priority um, you start making decisions that um, that become bigger than your hair. Um, and, and let's have this discussion, guys, because I know with black women in hair, it's a big deal. And I know and I feel that, that it's a lot of times it's a hindrance why we don't run in the summer, why we don't exercise because of our hair, especially when we decide to wear our own hair too. I think it even gets more tricky um, when you don't have any extensions and things like that. And, and then you're like, okay, well, what do I do? I'm wearing my own hair um, and uh, I need to exercise. And so it's something that I struggle with too. So let's have this conversation, ladies. Um, you know, um, so right now I'm at the hairdresser because I decided to make that choice and then, you know, find ways around it. Whether it is find out ways to do your own hair to touch it up. In this case, I'm running to the hair salon because I know nothing about hair. Um, but um, but either way, we've got to make decisions around this um, that better serve our health. So let's talk about it. Hair or the rug? What do you say?